In this presentation, we will take a look at a general type of response strategy when responding to the risk of material. First, a word from our sponsor. Well, actually, these are just items that we picked from the YouTube shopping affiliate program, but that's actually good for you because these aren't things that were just given to us from some large corporation which we don't even use in exchange for us selling them to you. These are things that we actually researched, purchased, and use ourselves. Focusrite Scarlet Solo 3rd Gen USB Interface with Software Suite. I've been using a Focusrite for years for my audio needs, before which time I had a USB microphone which plugged directly into the computer. But I think you'll find, as I have found, if you want to increase the quality of your microphone, you will need an interface. And the Focusrite is the go-to interface as far as I'm concerned. I've been using this for years now. It works well. It's easy to use. It seems quite durably built. Because I only do the screen recordings, I only need the one solo interface. However, if you have multiple microphones you need to plug in, or if you have other instruments you need to plug in, you can look at a similar model that has more input ports. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com where we have many different courses. You can purchase one at a time or have a subscription model giving you access to all the courses. Courses which are well organized have other resources like Excel files and PDF files to download and no commercials real misstatement remember our goal here as the auditor is to take a look at those financial statements give an opinion on the financial statement to see whether they are in accordance with some type of standard typically being generally accepted accounting standards therefore we are looking for those items that are going to be material misstatements material deviations from generally accepted accounting standards and we want to think about the thought process of responding to the risk of those material misstatements here's a a flow chart that we'll go through that we can actually visualize basically the thought process as we think through a material misstatement. So we're going to assess the risk of material misstatement at the financial statement and assertion level. So we have a risk of a material misstatement. We're going to check them that at the financial statement level as well as the assertion level. We're going to start with the financial statement level because if there's risk, if we look at this risk and if we say that this is something that can have an effect on the financial statements as a whole, our end goal, if it's say, if we're saying that there's going to be a material misstatement or there's a substantial risk of material misstatement at the financial statement level, then we could take a look at it at that level because that is our objective to make to give it an opinion on whether or not the financial statements are free of material misstatements. So do these risks relate perversely to the financial statements? If yes, we're going to develop an overall response at the financial statement level. Now, if the answer is no, then we want to consider this at the assertion risk level. And you can think of this at the more granular level. So we could say, well, if it's not at the financial statement level that this risk we think that's going to have a material impact on the financial statement level, we still want to consider whether it has an impact on the assertion level, the assertions, individual assertions by management. Recall that we went through basically the types of assertions that management has. We want to test those specific assertions. And even though some type of misstatement may not be something that we're going to say, hey, this has a material impact directly on the financial statement level, we, we still want to consider whether it has an impact on the assertion level because we're going to set a, a, a misstatement threshold or a tolerable misstatement threshold per assertion. And so we still want to consider basically any kind of risk or material risk at that assertion level as well. Determine what might go wrong at the assertion level and then de design audit procedures for the assertion level of risk at that point. Auditor's response to the risk assessment. Auditor may do the following to respond to financial statement level risk. So the financial statement level risks, this could be the response of the auditor. Assign personnel with more experience or specialized knowledge. So if we see a risk, financial statement level risk, what can we do about it? Part of the plan we might want to put in place as we go through the auditing process is to say, hey, we're going to put more experienced personnel or more specialized personnel. We're going to put people that have more experience in the auditing product process in general or possibly people that have more experience with a particular uh, set of problems 
in a particular type of audit we're doing, possibly problems related to a specific industry or problems related to a specific type of activity that we are uh, that was is within that particular audit. Uh, review selection and application of accounting policies to identify bias that may create a material misstatement and add add elements of unpredictability in the selection of audit procedures.